Let's see if we can net him. This is a big fish. Oh my goodness. What's up people, I'm excited about today. Guys, I'm back here on Boone Lake again. I brought with me all sorts of fun items, so who knows what we're gonna get into today. We've got some artificial, we've got some baits, we got all sorts of stuff, so we're gonna run out to the flats. We're gonna chase whatever we can find, and we're gonna have a good time. So I hope you guys will join me. Fun thing is, we're doing it all from the kayak, so guys, without further ado, wish me luck. Here we go. So guys, as we're heading to our spot, last week I was on vacation, so I didn't film last week. Uh, I was just out with the family at Hilton Head Island and while I was out there, man, I got gout in my right foot. If you've ever had gout, it is a very painful thing. Kind of like an arthritis where it really burns and boy was that painful. I spent half my vacation on the couch and that was kind of rough. It did give me a chance to catch up on all my work though because I happened to bring my work uh, station with me in case I had some free time and it turns out I had three days of free time. <laughs> I finally feel like I'm getting my foot back a little bit. It's still a little bit sore but I can finally move it, which is good. Tell you what, guys, we got a dock coming up here that I kind of want to throw an ultralight at. I brought an ultralight rod today. There's my setup right there, guys. We got just a tiny little jig head with this one inch gulp minnow. All right, guys, whoop, let's not do that. There we go. Let it, I'm just gonna let it sink down right there. Let's let it sink down to the bottom. And then we'll slowly bring it up and I'll jiggle it. And I bet you we get a bite doing that. Oh yeah, fish on. He hit on the drop. Oh my goodness. Nice bluegill. <laughs> Man, these things, th these guys are so much fun. And guys, he hit on the drop. So what I mean by that is a lot of times these panfish, before you even start reeling, they'll be on. When I started reeling up, that's when I felt the weight of that fish. So I didn't feel a bite. I just felt the weight of the fish as I started reeling in. And that's how it is with these bluegill. They'll hit it as it drops down. Because there, there it is. I mean, there's another one right there. Ooh, a little drag. Okay. It's not a bad little fish right here, guys. Okay, okay, now there's the jumbo. There's the jumbo I've been after right there. Look at that panfish. Okay. <laughs> now that's what we've been after. When he started taking out a little drag, that's when we knew. Here's one that's decent. Now, to put it in perspective, I bet you this guy here is about eight inches, maybe. The dream is a 10 inch fish, but you know, we'll see. Man, you want to talk about creepy. I'm seeing something right now I got to show you guys. <laughs> guys, this is creepy right here. Look at this. Just floating in the water. We got half of a doll's body, okay? It's a man. <laughs> oh, good fish. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, little drag went out again. believe we got another fun-sized <laughs> bluegill. Look at him fighting. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. Holy smokes. Man another keeper i mean we're talking a couple of really good fish next time i'm gonna have to bring a cooler guys because this is i love fish tacos specifically bluegill fish tacos and this right here we're catching some fun sized fish that was a good one you guys we're coming up to our spot where i've caught a lot of bass in the past specifically using planter boards today i don't have any bait other than some corn which we're going to use a little in a little while but I did bring with me one of my favorite lures. This is a Super Spook Junior. It also comes with the saltwater hooks. So those are very important when you're chasing hybrid and striper. However, today, the reason I brought it is quite simple. I wanted to see if we could catch some uh, largemouth bass, maybe even some smallmouth with it. So it's, it's August. If you know anything about August, that's usually a time when the top water bite is at its best for whatever reason. So we're gonna see if we can trick something as we work our way up to our spot. Now all I'm doing is something called walking the dog. Back and forth, pop, 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 pop. What it does with this particular lure is it just makes it pop side to side. And that action for a bass that's in a feeding mood, it's pretty tough. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to resist. When I'm on a lake, I'll pop it and make it walk a little bit slower. Back and forth, pop, 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 pop. However, if I'm in a current, if I'm on the river, I'll pop it really fast like this, really churn it up. Um, or, if there's an, or if there's a feeding frenzy going on, I may, I may make it a little bit more frantic, but just in general, if I'm walking it across the lake like I'm doing now, nice and easy, just popping it back and forth. And if there's bass in the area, a lot of times they'll key in on it. All right, people, it's, it's getting, oh my. We got, we got feeding going on right behind us. Yep. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I hooked up on something for just a second. Something just ate it. We got some crazy feeding going on right behind us. 
presumably some bass chasing bait. And when I threw out, something came up and popped it. But just like that, they're gone. That's how it is in August. A lot of times they're chasing bait like crazy. Right place, right time for sure. I just didn't hook up. He nailed it. All right. We're to my spot where I want to be. Got some driftwood right here. Let's move that out of the way. Get some things moved so I can get my boat where it won't move when I get a fish on. All right, guys, so we're grabbing our rods again. Now, I did make one change from the last video, guys. I lost quite a few fish. A lot of fish I didn't include on the video because it's just, you know, I'm trying to show you the best of the best, but one thing I noticed is my, my hooks kept getting bent. And so, like any normal person, I just went online, did some research, and ordered some new hooks. So, I'm going to put a description in the video right here, but I'm working with some new hooks today. There we go. Check our drag real quick. Good. We're in the same spot we were a couple weeks ago when I did my last video, and it was loaded with carp. I actually missed quite a few. Uh, ended up catching quite a few too, but missed quite a few carp that initially hooked up and bent out the hook different things like that so got stuck in a tree whatever um, so we're back for some revenge you know we've upgraded our gear a little bit and we've, we're back for more mm. oh there we go he's hooked there we go guys fish on oh yeah nice one big one get him in oh we'll get out of that other rod there he goes oh all right good fish guys oh yeah let's go ahead and grab our net get that ready oh don't you go in there nope nope no 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 don't you go in there i lost a fish in there the other day don't you go in there he is underneath my boat guys there he is Oh, Ooh, about lost in there. Nice carp, by the way. Got him. Yes. Whoo. That's a nice fish, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Check out this first one here. Really good carp. He's a beauty. I want to say he's, I want to say 24, 25 incher. Plunk him down in there. You guys. Oh, we've already got another one on. Look at him pulling line. Oh, golly. Are we recording? Yes. So guys, another one just took off. I don't even have my second rod out. He's way out there. So that means that we've got a lot of trees to navigate here, but he's staying in a good zone right now, which is great. Oh my goodness. Stay on, buddy. What I want to avoid, guys, is there is a stump over here just to my left that he's running to. Oh, it's a big one. It's much bigger. It's a good upgrade. It's a really good upgrade, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can net him. This is a big fish. Oh, my goodness. He's taking out line. Uh-oh. Camera just went. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh. About netted him. See if we can get him back. Oh my goodness. Stay on, big boy. This is a nice, this is my biggest carp of the year if I can land him. Oh, he's tough though. He's a tough guy. And he just saw that stump. Wow, guys, these have so much fight. It's kind of amazing, to be honest with you, how much fight they actually have. Oh my gosh. Oh man, look at the way they just dig. Every time you think you got one. Ah, come on, man. This guy is an absolute tank and he will not get in that net. Got him. That is a tank, guys. Now that, <laughs> that's a big upgrade. Even in the net he's fighting, this dude is ticked. take a quick look at them guys check out this carp huge huge upgrade <laughs> that is a monster guys okay, so that is yeah major upgrade so now oh, shoot. 
<laughs> so guys, he hit 27 and a half. So that was a big, big upgrade. He finally just got away. Oh, oh right here, right here. Oh yeah, fish on. Put this one down. Ugh. There we go, fish on. Yep, nice one. Tighten up that drag a little bit. Get out of that tree. He's up on the surface right now. Oh, but he's big. Guys, I'm just working my way to the right. Putting that right pressure on him. Because I know on this side there's less stuff to worry about. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He is a good fish, guys. Oh, man, listen to that. It's the way that they move water. You know they're big. Oh man, look at that. Whoa. Grab the net. Oh yeah. This is the hardest part, guys, just landing these guys. They're wily. Oh, like he just jumped out of the net, guys. Yeah, got him. In the net. Oh man, look at the red. Look at the red, guys. On his bottom fin there. That's beautiful. That's actually such a beautiful transition. It goes from yellow to red. So we're just going to hold him up for the camera that's on my head. Still beautiful. Look at that red on his tail. That is so pretty. These fish are underrated, man. Let's let him go. Get these hooks back out as quick as we can. John, just like that. I mean, I didn't have time to put that one out. Another one on. Look at that. Oh, he's coming in quick. He's wily. He's one of those little crazy guys. Oh, he's trying to get in the trees. Let me get him over here. Yep. He's a little fella. Just a little fella. Ooh. Guys, he just came out. He came out at the boat. That's okay with me. My hand got smacked really good. I'm just checking it to make sure I'm not bleeding. We're good. It just, it was almost like a whip that just smacked me. I'm glad it wasn't the hook. That would have gone in deep. Whoa. But guys, like I was saying, I mean, it just doesn't take long. These fish are aggressive. They're eating right now. You know, if one was going to get away at the boat, I'm glad it's the little one. I want to show off these big ones, but. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Here we go. Big one. Here we go. Fish on, guys. I was seeing it bouncing a little bit, and I thought he let go, but he was actually still mouthing it. He feels pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it is another good one. Oh, shoot, man. Dude, that hook came out and came by my head about 100 miles per hour. <laughs> Oh, okay. Like I said, these carp, they have soft mouths and sometimes we're putting on so much pressure, things can come flying past your face quickly. Wow. Oh man, that was, that was a lot of fun. A lot of good rod pulls there. And uh, pretty happy with the stouter hooks. They didn't bend out like the other hooks. I still lost a few things, so we're still going to have to work on our carp game a little bit, but that's okay. We're doing good. All right, guys. Well, now that we've got the ultralight set up, check out this decrepit old dock over here. <laughs> this just screams big panfish, big bluegill. So there we go. Fish on. <laughs> Fish on that time. Let's see what we get here, guys. He nailed it on the drop. Yep, here's another bluegill. Man, this is just fun, guys. Let me pitch that right under that dock there. Watch this, guys. We're going to let it sink down. Slowly twitch it back up. Fish on. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. Oh, yeah. Nicer bluegill. Man, guys, it's like instant hook up just finding spots like this this is <laughs> oh it's addicting here we go all right let's cast under there again really good cast that time guys that's a good spot oh fish on just like that oh yeah <laughs> oh my gosh this this type of fishing man is so much fun perfect cast guys <laughs> right back under there fish on Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. It's too easy. 
Oh my goodness. And with these rods, I mean, these little fish, man, they feel pretty good. But guys, that dock was really cool. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, guys, I just pulled up to this dock right here. It's also looking pretty good. So go ahead and pitch right over here. That's a pretty good cast. Just get it underneath there. Let's see if we got anything holding underneath this dock. I'm sure there's got to be a few bluegill hanging out in a spot like this. Oh, there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. did you guys hear that little hit? <laughs> oh, fish on. <laughs> oh, a little bass, guys. Came off at the boat. All right, let's keep moving. All right, that dock was fun. <laughs> let's keep moving, see what else we can find. All right, guys, so we've got this little chute off of the main part of the water here. And it goes back quite a ways, and there's a lot of sunken trees and different things back here. It just, honestly, it just looks like a spot where panfish should be hanging out. Look at all these sunken trees, things like that. Let's just pitch it out, let it sink down. Let's see if we've got fish around. Oh yeah, fish on, just like that. Did not take long. One cast is all it took. Oh, I've, shoot, I've got a nice crappie on here, guys. Let me get the net for that guy. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo Boy, that is a nice discovery right there. Big old panfish. Look at that boy. Look at that. Now that, that right there is a nice panfish. What a surprise that was. <laughs> I cannot believe I just caught a really big crappie. Let's do a, I want to say he's pushing 10 inches, guys. Let's see how much he actually is. And what a nice discovery. Look at that, 11 and a half inches. Now, I didn't bring a cooler today. You're one lucky fish because I love eating crappie. All right, guys. Well, something just ripped off the last gulp minnow. So that means that my ultralight fishing is done for today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I did. If you'd like to see more kayak adventures on Boone Lake, I've got a fun striper video right here. Or if you prefer to see me in the kayak on a different part of the lake, I've got another fun one right here. Till next time, tight lines. Yeah.